Uh, the, the thing that I want to get into on Evergreen, I'm going to actually read some of the intel that I got. So it's direct and I will translate what I have to. But here is more specifics that I got on Evergreen. Um, subject Caesar, seizure of enemy surface vessels and submarines. And then, of course, also that it's translated into there's all so sometimes it'll be part of it english some might be a different language it could be sanskrit it could be russian it could be it could be latin it could be a lot of different things and there's a reason why it's written that way but basically there are these there are hijack hijackings of these ships and submarines going on by the good guys now here's what i got um notification was received and it and it says commanding officer colonel SJD authorizes team's mission statement release. So this was now authorized to release it. I'm bringing it to you. Number two, interdiction mission, Operation Evergreen, and Joint Special Operation Command action. Three, active boarding teams given. So on these teams that were, and this is obviously a joint operation, uh, U.S. Navy SEALs, DevGru, of course, you guys know what DevGru is, uh, you SEALs. Spets Group A, and that appears to be um, Russian Special Operators, Directorate A of the FSB Special Purpose Center. Again, that's their, I guess you'd call it their new KGB. Um, uh, let's see, Spets Group V Team slash KBG Directorate uh, V or 5 Vega Group, then the, the next one, the subset of the active boarding teams is our protection team. And I'm going to leave the number out because I don't know. Um, the, when I say, when it says our protection team, this is Overwatch. Uh, so I guess at some level, it'll tell you who these people are to a degree and what they're capable of uh, in that, in terms of these type of operations. So our protection team, XYZ, infiltrated Evergreen, already aboard, coordinated strike interdiction mission. So here's what it means. Boarding given, boarding cranes were used, access to Evergreen was given, uploading completed, human intelligence, dead on arrival, 1,366 souls, alive on arrival, 1,245. Therefore, by the time they got there, Apparently, there were 1,366 people that were dead on that ship, which means we know, as I mentioned the other day, that there were reasons why this operation went this way, shut down the Suez Canal, because, you know, any ship in position for ingress or egress, which is coming in or going out, now can be stopped and boarded and their cargo you know, manifests reviewed and actually go look for cargo on these ships that actually is not on the cargo manifest and allow them to do that legally. Um, and then of course, what they discover, they can go from there. So that was a planned operation for that reason. One of the reasons is this, is that they, uh, basically um, there is the shot manufactured obviously over in that region of the world where it's coming from China and going through the canal to get where it needs to go. Um, get my battery put in here so we don't lose a general. So as they mentioned to me, Overwatch mentioned to me, like human beings, uh, I would just call it the shot to keep us from getting targeted immediately. The shot also has an expiration date. If it's not in a certain place at a certain location, <laughs> you know, or, or at a certain time, then they probably don't have the capacity for the refrigeration, which I understand has to be like below zero, or possibly. I just hear from what I've heard in the past. Therefore, that means that these things expired and the, the, the shots were now ruined. And that was part of the operation to, to ruin them, to seize them, ruin them, make them uh, render them useless. If these things really worked, why would it be setting up operations to interfere with the flow of that? Because that's what they're doing. They know, you know, they know what's happening here. So they're trying to stop it. You're not trying to stop a good solution for the world for a, you know, uh, a threat like that. You're going to make it happen whether well, or not there's interdiction for a reason. Um, they also found weapons on there and, and, 
uh, Kirsten mentioned this the other day, there were heavy weapons on these ships and these ships were headed to a hundred different drop off points. And these weapons were all weapons going to be used to take down or invade or take over the five eyes nations, U S UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, um, their intelligence agencies all collaborate, spy on citizens like MI6 will spy on us over here. People, the clowns in America are not supposed to because it's against their charter. They do it anyways, but at least they can say, oh, we get this from MI6 because they're allowed to give information about, you know, people they found in their countries. Hey, we found this, hand it over to the clowns in America. And that's how they get around it. So, um, so we know about that. We know about the weapons. We know about the, the, the trafficking. Um, we know about the, the shot. Uh, that's part of the operation. It does say here, it says um, confirmed hair trigger alert response, strategic nuclear weapon at launch on warning status recovered, interdiction successful, all threats removed, direct action teams success. And then in this Intel dispatch, it says strategic nuclear weapon aboard Evergreen was to detonate if vessel compromised. Why didn't it detonate? Well, U.S. Space Force, 21st Space Wing's 4th Space Control Squadron at Peterson Air Force Base, Colorado, jammed the original electronic signal. Vessel then ran aground. Strategic nuclear weapon deactivated. Successful. Undisclosed operators on board Evergreen assisted with mission set. Complete. This was for immediate public release. That's what I'm bringing to you today. That's what's happened and is happening currently with their Evergreen operation. So if people don't understand that the Patriots are in control, nothing is going to help you get, you know, get, get a handle on that fact. Because if the Patriots weren't in control, I said this before, who's in, who's in control? The person that's at the uh, sound stage for Castle Rock, the, 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 whatever it is with white hair that falls up steps. I mean, most people fall down steps. This clown falls up steps, but, uh, Who's in control? Those clowns, that administration, or somebody else? The person that's always in control is the person with the guns, period. And we know who has the guns military. So they're doing what they need to do.